Hey, what's up guys? Today on the project, we're gonna be testing out this Optima Yellow Top battery. Now this battery is only a year and a half old at the least. Uh, the most it would be almost two years old. I got this when I restored Black Beauty and I'm having trouble starting it up, as you can see. So my biggest fears might be coming true. Scotty Kilmer might be right. These Optima batteries could be crap. So we're going to take this out and bring it to um, Advanced Auto, see what's wrong with it. Alright guys, taking out this battery should be real easy since I have my quick disconnect terminals. Just going to loosen up the tie downs, 13 millimeter. Set this aside, keep my nuts over here. And boom, pop off this battery. Hey Pierre, how are you? That's it. Well, all right guys, that was a very simple battery removal thanks to those quick disconnects. I use those on uh, General Grievous and uh, here's a link to the video for that. You can see that in the install. I did the exact same thing to Black Beauty as I did to General Grievous. Now you can see this was manufactured in January 2017 and I bought it sometime in the summer or the fall of 2017 so it's well within its warranty. I'm gonna take it back to Advanced Auto now and they're gonna test it for any error codes. All right, guys, we are on the road in the general. We got our Optima battery right down there. Now, apparently these Optimas used to be made in the USA. Hi. Uh, they, they used to be made in the USA and they were really good quality. Um, about 10 years ago or so, they moved the production of these batteries down to Mexico. The quality control went down the tubes and now there's some, uh, some issues with these apparently. Um, they're not all made to last, so we are going to go check it out and see what actually happened to this thing and uh, Yeah, I'll let you know when we get there and uh, I'll see if we can get in on the testing process I don't know. Maybe they'll let me film it. We'll see. But all right. Bye Bye But the battery testing begin what usually goes on in a battery testing. Uh, it just goes through, uh, checks the uh, cells and Reads stuff. all the cells, make sure yeah. they're functional. Yeah. How's it looking? Uh, insane. We need a charge to uh, like get a better reading on it. I can put it on the Charge it for a field. better reading? Yeah. Uh, Alright, so Christian took a reading of the battery. He said it was only operating around uh, 10 volts, maybe 9.9 .9 volts. So it's not a great sign already, but it needs to go on a trickle charge overnight for him to get the best of readings. So uh, he's gonna charge it up. We'll get a new reading tomorrow, and we'll see how it goes. Good thing I got the general, because uh, Black Beauty is without a battery. So I guess we'll pick up where we left off, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. All right, guys, we're back. Advanced Auto, and the battery has been charging for a whole day. Check this out. All right, guys, take a look at this. It actually tested as good. All the cells were supposedly working, and it measured 12.35 uh, volts, which is what it should be, but it was only giving off 494 cold cranking amps, and it's rated at 620, and this would not start Black Beauty. Uh, so they gave me a new one, which they should have, because I couldn't start my car with it. What's the point of having a battery? Um, I'm kind of disappointed in Optima. Uh, I guess Scotty Kilmer was right. Look at this, made in Mexico, and the other one didn't even last uh, two years, not even. A year and a half and it crapped out on me. So uh, we'll get this home, give this a try in Black Beauty. And I also got some oil for the general. So uh, let's get this thing home. <laughs> I can't believe it, guys. A year and a half. What is up with that? I'm 
make sure you put the battery on the right side. Line up the red where the red is and the black where the black is. Do not switch them. You will fry your vehicle. I'm going to hold on to this because you never know when this Optima is going to crap out. All right, I'm gonna put my tie downs back on. And just before I reconnect the terminals, I'm gonna give the post some love with some sandpaper. Get these things shining nice and bright so they have good contact. And these are already pretty clean, so I'm not gonna go crazy. Go crazy. And I'm just gonna roll it up. This is a uh, 400 grip, by the way. Just get a little in here. Now, I used to have the pipe cleaner thing that you just pop on the nozzle and scrub it around, but I lost it, and I hate losing tools. So I'm improvising a way to clean this up. And I have tons of sandpaper. So that's what we're doing. All right, look at that. Nice and clean. And... Electric grease. Blob that on, spread it out. Blob that on, spread it out. And just gonna throw these things on. I don't know, felt? Post felt? Terminal post felt? I don't know. Um, and that's it. Gonna pre tighten. My toolless terminal clamps, nice and tight by hand. Put it on the post. Crank it down. Nice. And the positive. And uh, if you guys want to know what terminals I'm using, I'm gonna put the links in the description below. Uh, I'm going to start doing that more so you guys uh, know what I'm using. And uh, I'll give more product reviews also. So, uh, yeah, I really like these coolest terminals. And crank it down. Good. That's it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Just a simple battery swap. All I had to do was let my yellow top sleep over at Advanced Auto overnight. They ran some tests, and unfortunately, I got back some disturbing news. After a year and a half, my yellow top battery crapped out on me, and that's a far cry from what they're advertising. So, Optima, I'm calling you out. You need to make a better product. I put my trust in you guys. I got a yellow top in my XJ, I got a red top in my ZJ, and I have another yellow top in my Mustang, and I can't be swapping out batteries after only a year and a half of use. Um, you can't be charging $250 for that crap. Well... You can, but no one's going to buy them anymore. And when these things are done, I'm seriously considering moving to another product. Um, I put my trust in you again, and you're letting me down. So I want some better quality control down there in Mexico, guys. Got to get your act together. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next project.